Welcome to Concept Control's YouTube channel. This video is going to cover some of the common problems we have seen customers having while trying to use the MeshGuard systems. This is intended to be for people that are fairly well versed with the systems. If there is any doubt on what you're doing, please feel free to send it to any of our locations for repair and training if needed. Part 1. Memory Card Issues If you have a flashing disk on the top of your FMC's LCD screen, this means that the system is unable to data log. First thing would be to open up the FMC and make sure that there is an SD card installed. If the card slot is empty, just slide a properly formatted SD card label up into the card slot. Press it against the springs until you hear a click and the card is retained. If there is a card installed and it is having that error, then remove the card by pushing the card towards the card slot until you hear a click. Then release the card and the spring should help push the card out of the slot. Inspect the side of the SD card and make sure that the switch is not in the locked position. If it is in the locked position, data can't be written to the card. Toggle the switch off the locked position. If that still doesn't fix the issue, you can try reformatting the card. This can be done from any PC or Mac. The card itself should be formatted in FAT16. If all of that still doesn't work, try using an SD card. If the SD card still doesn't work, then you have larger problems with that unit and you need to send it in for service. Part 2. FMC Battery Issues If you have a battery with an X through it on the top of the FMC's LCD screen, this means that the FMC is having issues with its internal battery backup. Again, open up the FMC door and inspect the FMC battery in the lower right hand corner. Inspect both the battery leads and the PCB connection point. If there's any of them that are loose or just fell off, just plug them back in while the unit is turned off. If all the connections seem solid but you're still getting that icon error, then try to change the battery out. If that still doesn't correct the problem, then you'll need to send the unit in to us for service. If everything is fixed and the battery is fully charged, the icon should turn into a plug as shown. Part 3. Detector Battery Issues If you have a low battery warning pop up in the top left hand corner of the detector, the obvious fix is to change the battery. We have seen this pop up though with fresh batteries installed. Normally this is caused from a loose connection on the detector. Grab the special open-ended wrench supplied with the mesh guard system and cinch down the power connection. You will need to turn the unit off and back on again to reset the air. If this doesn't work, then you'll need to send the unit in to us for service. Part 4. Detector OVR Issues If your detector is flashing OVR and occasionally beeping and flashing, replace the sensor with the unit turned off. If it is still flashing OVR with a new sensor, then you'll need to take the unit in to us for service. Part 5. Wireless Link Communication Issues If you plug in the alarm bar and all the beacons are flashing non-stop, then the unit is not communicating with the host. Check your startup sequence. The FMC and the host should be plugged in and powered up before the alarm bar is powered up. If that didn't fix things, then open up the host unit. A solid light means that it's connected to a remote unit, so maybe it is connected to a different alarm bar that's within range. If it is flashing, then it means that it's ready to connect, but it is not seeing the remote unit. If there is no light, yet the unit is plugged into the FMC, then there's something wrong, and both the host and the FMC needs to come in for service. Thank you for watching. Please take a moment to like and share the video. You can also connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and follow us on LinkedIn via the video description below. Want to be the first to know when a new video is released? Click subscribe and get notifications directly to your inbox. We're also available if you need more information. Visit www.conceptcontrols.com and give us a call today.